For a first responder's location is everything. With the arrival of GPS and cell assistant location, we can now more easily map, track, and navigate in an outdoor environment. However, with increasingly greater volume of indoor spaces in our towns and cities, it is the indoor space where most 911 calls are made. Simply put, more buildings mean more time spending dealing with location challenges indoors. What does all of this mean? We need our maps to be able to evolve so that we have a better understanding of how an interior of a structure in a building is laid out. This will allow us to assure the safety of our first responders, our law enforcement personnel, firefighters, and emergency medical technicians. See, mapping, tracking, and navigation also has another component. It's got to be scalable. How else are we going to be able to deal with critical incidents or mass casualty events? And then most importantly, are any technology that's identified or is able to enhance the future of our industry, it's got to be something simple, easy to use, and part of our day-to-day -day routine. A small team of GIS specialists and first responders are working together with the National Institute of Standards and Technology to identify emerging technology and solutions for first responder pre-planning. But we need your help. My name is Paul Doherty, and I'm a program manager at the National Alliance for Public Safety, GIS Foundation. We're inviting you to come join us at the 2020 FDIC workshop. The title is Indoor Tracking, Mapping, and Navigation for the Fire Service, now and into the future. Thank you, and we hope to see you there.